Raider Nation, what's going on? It's mailbag time and fair warning. Uh, Friday show, I'm going to be real with y'all. Got, uh, got a little bit wild, so you can give a huge shout out to Trivan, Wild One, Drake's May, and David Zahn for all the questions and comments. Drake May, whatever, Drake Mayers uh, on today's show. So, I want you to never miss a moment because if any breaking news happens, Daily Raiders videos, breaking news, Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, because with free agency coming up, a lot of breaking news is about to happen. So, the first question rolling in here on the show is from Eric M. If I could wake up at the end of the 2024 draft and we have Drake May or Caleb Williams, I'd be okay to tank. I am always against tanking, but it's because I'm against tanking because I don't want to go through an entire season where the Raiders just suck. Like, that would be extremely painful. However, um, when I consider Drake Mayer, Caleb Williams, both very, very talented quarterbacks, both QBs I would love to have over the Raiders. And if you told me in 2024 that we could have either of these guys, I would say sign me up for that any single day of the week. Let's go to Hellcat Q. What's the latest on Aaron Rodgers? We need a QB fix. The latest on Rodgers is Rodgers has to make up his mind. If Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler do not want number 12. That's a different story. But from Hondo Carpenter, he says that the Raiders are not expected to pursue a trade. And I think it's because they think it's going to cost too much. But if Rodgers flat out says, like, hey, man, I want to come to the Raiders. It's only going to cost a second-round pick. And the Raiders still say no to that. I think that's just malpractice, if I'm being real with y'all. Let's go to Wild One 14. Are you a true real one for life? Join locals, locals, locals for live mock drafts, free agency picks. Get behind the scenes rumors first. Be the best, not the rest. Be the best, not the rest. All right, fair enough, man. So if you want to join locals, it's over on RaidersBoard.locals.com. So I broke down some first, uh, first rumors over there on locals before. We've also been doing mock drafts. We've been doing like free agency pickems as well. If you want to get to know me, and a bunch of, like, the real ones that are always in the chat. Locals are the spot you got to go. Let's go to Drew. Familiar with Trey Palmer, wide receiver in Nebraska. Uh, played a, I know him very well. And the reason why it's actually because of locals. Because one of our most loyal locals watchers, Husker Raider, who loves Trey Palmer. And he's a good receiver. He's probably not somebody who's going to get drafted day one or day two. Going to be a... a a day three type of prospect, round five, round six, round seven. He's a good player. Doesn't have a lot of athletic traits. We'll see where he ends up going. Let's go to A-Train 99. Thoughts on getting Bobby Wagner. I mean, I knew I'd get a Bobby Wagner question today. I didn't know if it would happen this quick. Wagner is, a, is an incredible linebacker. And with the Raiders not knowing what they're going to have at LB right now because Denzel Perriman, he's a free agent. And your only guys that you're going to be bringing back are Darian Butler, Luke Masterson, and Divine Diablo. There are a lot of questions. If you're in win-now mode, Bobby Wagner is a hell of a player. And last offseason, he signed a five-year, $55 million deal. If you can get Wagner somewhere around $11 million a year, I mean, I, I think, honestly, he's probably going to be the number one free agent linebacker in the league. Over 140 tackles, six sacks. He's an incredible player. But there is going to be teams out there that are going to be willing to probably offer him a little bit more money than what the Raiders are willing to offer him. But here's my question, and I'm going to make this the ad pin comment on today's show. How big of a need is linebacker this offseason for the Las Vegas Raiders? And I want you to scale it from 1 to 100. So 1 being not a big need. 100, it's a huge freaking need. Let me know. I'm probably somewhere around like a 75, 80. It's a need. It's just linebacker to me is the easiest position to be able to replace on the defensive side of the football. Let's go to King Higgins. I am never team tank. But Caleb is my guy. I don't think that the Raiders land a Rodgers, so it might be worth going after him anyways. I am on board with the Raiders trying to get Drake May and Caleb Williams. The reason why I don't like tanking is because unless Mark Davis says, hey, all the tickets this upcoming season are going to be super cheap, 
then I feel like you're ripping off Raider fans. So I know Raider Nation's always going to show out. I know I'm always going to show out. I know Jeremy's always going to show out. When you tank, it is like a huge gut punch. And just because you tank does not mean that it is, it is going to work out. I do believe if you can come away with in the 2024 NFL draft with either Caleb Williams or Drake May, you're going to be in a really good position for a long time. And that's maybe what Josh McDaniels is thinking. But at the same time, I don't trust McDaniels. Like I, I really, truly don't. Let's go the wrong way. Can the Raiders win the Super Bowl with a rookie quarterback this year? Sure you can. You just got to find the right guy. Like, could Bryce Young be the dude? Could C.J. Stroud be the dude? Sure. When you look at the latest Vegas odds, Anthony Richardson, okay, very interesting prospect. There are a lot of people out there that think Richardson, the quarterback from Florida, could be the number one overall pick. And when you think about Vegas, when the whole draft process started, he was plus 5,000 odds to be the number one overall pick. That recently went to 1,500. And now it's at plus 750. It might even go more. People are going to fall in love with the traits. And they're going to fall in love with the fact that this guy could be the next Cam Newton. And if you knew you can get the next Cam Newton, I do think a lot of teams would take that opportunity. Let's go to Steven. What's up, Raider fam? Let's get AR, Steven from Long Beach. I mean, Richardson to me has all, and I mean, he's the best athlete in this class. If you're looking for upside, he's the dude. If I was the Raiders... And I'm just being real with y'all. I would take Anthony Richardson. And the reason why I would do this is because you have nothing to lose. Either A, he's the quarterback that he has the projected hype to be. Or B, if he's not, then you just fire Josh McDaniels. You fire Dave Ziegler. And then you get your guy Drake Mayer, Caleb Williams next season. A lot of hype. I get it. Let's go with wrong way again. Raiders lowballing Green Bay. Fake comment zig. I'll say this. I think Dave Ziegler is a guy who doesn't want to give away a lot of information. It's why when the Raiders were 2-5, and five, he said, Josh McDaniels doing a great job. When he's up there on the podium, he's going to say what people want to hear. Wrong way again. Raiders get Aaron Rodgers and also draft Will Levis. I'd be on board with that. If you get, Jesus, if you get Aaron Rodgers, you do also have to have that long-term plan. And if I was the Raiders, the way that I would try to figure out Rodgers' contract is I'd be like, okay, we're going to get Rodgers. Cool. We're also going to take a quarterback that has extremely high upside. So if you get Rodgers, I wouldn't blame the Raiders for trying to get an Anthony Richardson to get a Will Levis because they do. They have that extremely high upside. And if you want to win right now, Rodgers is your guy. If you don't, then you don't go out and get Aaron Rodgers. PG, Chugs at quarterback. And can we get Caleb? He's a Raider. Um, you can get Caleb Williams. You just got to be high in the draft order or give up a shit ton of draft picks. Matt, if we don't get Rodgers, can we start pushing the Mac back to the Raiders narratives? Um, it's funny that you say that. You're not the first person that has brought that up to me. Khalil Mack coming back to the Raiders, the only way that that, that, that is even a possibility is if this team believes that they can win and they can go out for a Super Bowl. Because there's going to be a ton of teams out there trying to get Khalil Mack. If you don't think you can win, if you don't think that you're going to have a chance, you're not going to do it. If you're in rebuild mode, definitely not going to happen. Sammy, should the Raiders sign Taylor Lewan? No. And there's a lot of people out there that might want this to happen. I am at a hard, hard no. And the reason is Taylor Lewan hasn't played right tackle I want to say since 2019, he's had a shit ton of injury concerns. I'm not sure if Colt Miller wants to go over to right tackle. And if I'm Taylor Lewan, I want to play left tackle. Why? You get more money. So my answer to that is no. But I want to know from all y'all, should the Raiders sign Taylor Lewan? Type Y for yes, or I want you to type your N for no. I am team N for no. I don't think it's a fit. He's been injured. He's been injured, by the way, I should say that. So, it's a no. Let's go to Raider Rob. What would Al do with McDum and our quarterback drama now? Al Davis would have never hired Josh McDaniels. I mean, like, like, let's just be real. I think Al's, one of his best qualities was being able to sniff out phonies. Being able to sniff out people who weren't right for the job. McDaniels and Ziegler right now are in a boat where they're preaching, hey, we're going to go with our way. Until I see 
their way working, I'm not going to believe in it. I saw McDaniels in Denver. Shit. I saw what he did to the Colts. Not great. I saw what he did to the Raiders. In my book, I'm a big baseball guy. Three strikes, you're out. If the Raiders end up turning this ship around, I will take as many L's as possible, and I hope that I am wrong. But I do think that I'm a very good person at being able to figure out guys who are – McDaniel's a good offensive mind. But just because you're a good offensive mind doesn't mean that you're a leader of men. I have talked to current Raiders players. I have talked to former Raiders players. You've also seen past Josh McDaniel guys come out and speak about him. Until I hear something positive about the dude, I am not going to believe in him. Let's go to Tony. Mitch, what about Anthony Richardson being drafted and rolling with Stidham on him for the next two to three years? If you draft Anthony Richardson, I do think one of the things that would be interesting to me is what you decide to do because I think Richardson needs to sit a year. If you want Richardson to be great, he needs to sit a year because he's not ready to go right away. If Richardson is the guy that you want and you want him to succeed, you probably have to sign a dude like Jimmy Garoppolo because Garoppolo gives you at least a chance, and Richardson is not ready to go right away. However, though, Garoppolo still doesn't probably put you in that playoff caliber area, and if I'm the Raiders and let's say you have a shot at Drake Mayer or Caleb Williams, I will still try to draft one of those two guys over rolling the dice with Richardson in the future. Let's go one of the Lords. I haven't seen Cone K-Bear yet, but Bush Light, beer gets pretty crazy. Do you see DJ Turner as a system fit? I've been hearing a lot of good about him. DJ Turner is a good player. He's a good punt returner. He's a good special teams player. He's a below average slot receiver, though. He's a good athlete. Like, that's what he is. He's a good athlete. Um... He's going to be somebody who probably makes the 53-man roster because of his special teams ability, but he's not somebody who I'm ever going to rely on in terms of being a good actual receiver. He reminds me a lot of Jakeem Brandt. Cocaine Bear, though, I kind of want to see it. Johnny, tanking should not be in the vocabulary of Raider fans. Al Davis just win, baby. That's the other part of it. I don't want to tank because it's not what I ever believe. These guys get paid way too much money to ever tank, and I do not want to tank. So, Johnny, I agree with you. Also, I've been checking out your IG. Best of luck to you, dude, in that new movie. Let's go to Raiders Podcast. Fire Mark Davis if we get Jimmy G taking three steps back. Unfortunately, you're not really going to be able to fire Mark Davis for the simple fact of, of uh, let's face it, he's the owner of the team. But I do think that there's a reason why over the last 20 years the Raiders have two playoff wins, and I do think Mark Dave is a big reason behind it. Rio, since you said no to Taylor Lewan, what about Robert Woods? I think Robert Woods goes back to the Rams. If I was the Rams, I would welcome Robert Woods back with open arms. I know that Cooper Cup has said, hey, Robert, come back to Los Angeles. Robert would be a good player, actually, I think, in McDaniels' system. However... When you look at all the needs that this team has, I'm not going to spend $10 million on a wide receiver. We got Devontae Adams. You need to build the defense. And if you want to go out and get a quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo, shit, you better go all in on defense because if Jimmy G had the team that the Raiders are on right now, you're 6-11 and again. And that's not where you want to be. All right, y'all, that's the end of today's mailbag. I appreciate it for every single person that tuned in today. Y'all are real ones. I appreciate the shit out of y'all. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. That way, you never miss a thing.